Okay, YouTube, so here's a typical tow hook that you would mount on your frame. This is a two hole tow hook, and these are approximately 1.5 inches or maybe 38 millimeters separation on the holes. This one's rated at 10,000 pounds, 5 tons, which is probably a reasonable working limit for this. In fact, I think this might be even stronger because you've got a full circle of material rather than just the hook. But you can imagine if this were mounted on the bottom of your frame and you had a strap through here and that strap went slack, it would fall out. Now they do make little retention clips that can go in here on some tow hooks. That can help. But having the D-ring anchor gives you a much more secure attachment point because everything's physically held together. You're not relying on a little flap of metal here to keep your strap in place. I've had those fall out even with the strap retainer in there. But yeah, if you have a tow hook like this and you want to replace it with a D-ring anchor, they are the same bolt hole spacing. I'll just show you here. There's your two bolts on the tow hook, and they go right through. Same holes on the D ring anchor. And if you look here, these are pretty much the same physical dimensions. The length of the attachment point is pretty much dead on. The D-ring anchor is a little bit shorter. It goes a little less far forward. It's not as tall as the tow hook. So, you know, if you're replacing a tow hook and you've got clearance around the tow hook, the D-ring anchor should fit. The widths of these are approximately the same. You know, they're both about an inch wide. The big difference will be the D-ring itself. You're looking at about one inch wider to the outside edge of the D-ring here. One particular problem area you might find is on a an 85 or older Toyota four-wheel drive pickup or forerunner. You've got the tow hook is right next to the front leaf spring hanger. This might clear the leaf spring hanger bolt because it's inside of the hook but this because it's solid that leaf spring hanger bolt is going to hit this okay here's where i have tow hooks mounted on my 85 forerunners so this is my custom front bumper mount i've extended off of the frame in front and then I have a two inch tall block here to raise the bumper up. And I have the tow hooks mounted on the side of that. This is an actual air chamber inside the bumper. So I have my air fittings right there and there just wouldn't be any room between the bumper and the tow hook to put one of these D-ring anchors. So that's the kind of thing you have to be aware of if you're thinking about installing a D-ring anchor is you need about an inch of clearance between the side of the D-ring anchor and whatever is above, below, or to the left or the right of it to be able to fit the D-ring in there. And I just wouldn't be able to do that. Now here's one of these retainers that kind of keep your toe strap in place. But you can see how this one's been bent a little bit and it doesn't quite close all the way. You know, if you have a set of tow hooks and you want a set of D-ring anchors, we have these available either in single pieces or in a pair with and without the D-rings. So we can convert you from a tow hook to a D-ring anchor or if you just have like a factory tie-down point on your truck and you want to go to something like this. We can get you set up. The D-ring anchor is about the same overall dimensions as a tow hook except for the width. So you can see how the tightest side is going to need about one inch of additional 
clearance to the side to be able to fit your anchor in place. You know, at the minimum, maybe five eighths of an inch, and then by the time you get to the widest part of the shackle, it's about one inch wider. So check your clearances before you uh, try to put one of these in. The shackle pin is going to be kind of in the center of the loop of the tow hook. If you've got something in the middle of your tow hook, you might have some clearance issues. Just check those things out before you pick one of these up. It gives you a couple of views of that so you can figure out the clearance you need, but check that out on your truck. If there's anything on either side of where you want to mount one of these, you need some room to fit the shackle in place. Because a, a tow strap doesn't take up a lot of room, but one of these guys takes up a fair bit of space. I'll have a link to the, both our web page for the D-ring anchors, and then I'll also have a web page for a vendor that has a lot of different recovery shackles. You can find some variations on those if you need something particular. Anyway, hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can post up in the comment section down below, or you can contact us by email. The link will be on the web page, and I'll put some of the other product videos over here on the left side. And as always, thanks for watching.